गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन चैप्टर सेल फॉर क्लास नाइन वॉट डू यू मीन बाय अल अल इज अ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाय अ स्ट्रक्चरल यूनिट स्ट्रक्चरल यूनिट मीन्स ऑल दी स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ अ लिविंग बॉडी आर मेड अप ऑफ सेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी टॉक about an organ that organ is made up of tissue which in turn are made up of similar types of cells so this means cells are the main unit which combine to form a tissue and those tissues which is, which are working in a similar way they combine to form an organ like i can give you one more example of a wall for construction of a wall we need a brick similarly for construction of a living body or for formation of a living body we need cells so this means all the structures of a living body are made up of many different types of cells now what do you mean by a functional unit functional unit means all the functions in a body are performed by cells cells of same type performing same function form and form so cells are the functional unit means all the functions in the body are performed by cells so this means cell is a basic structural and functional unit of life now on the basis of number of cells present in an organism organisms are of two types they are unicellular and multicellular what do you mean by unicellular and multicellular unicellular organisms are those uni means one so organism which are made up of only one cell are known as unicellular organisms for example amoeba bacteria in these cells all the functions are performed by only single cell no organ is present no tissue is present all the functions in amoeba and bacteria are performed by a single cell so they are known as unicellular organisms similarly multicellular organisms organisms which contain which have many cells they are 
multicellular organisms. Example, plants, animals. So, they are the types of organisms on the basis of number of cells present. Now, next category we will discuss different shapes of cells. Cell shape. Cell shape varies according to the function of the cell. So, shape of the cell basically depends upon the function that cells perform. Alright, for example, if we discuss about RBC, RBCs are red blood cells. They are circular or biconcave in shape. Why? Their shape is like this so that They can carry maximum oxygen or one more function they have. For easy movement inside the blood vessels. So, RBCs are circular or biconcave in shape for performing two different functions. Second example, WBCs. WBCs are amoeboid in shape. Means they are shapeless. Why? They have to move out of blood vessels to reach the site of infection. So, their shape is amoeboid. These are the two different types of cells. Their shape depends upon the function they perform. Third example, guard cells. Guard cells are bean shaped cells or kidney shaped cells. What is their function? Their function is to control opening and closing of stomata. When they are fully turgid means when they are fully arched outwards they are open. And when they are flaccid, then stomata is closed. So, their function is to control the opening and closing of stomata. Fourth type of cells, neuron or nerve cell. We were on the fourth example of cell shape. Fourth example is neuron.
न्यूरोन का फंक्शन इज टू कैरी इंपल्सिस इंपल्सिस मीन्स इट कैरीज मैसेजेस फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट टू दी बॉडी सो दे आर इलाउंडेटेड सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वॉट सेल शेप सेल शेप डिपेंड्स अपॉन द फंक्शन ऑफ द सेल दैट इट परफॉर्म्स राइट एग्जाम्पल आरबीसी आरबीसी का फंक्शन इज वॉट टू कैरी ऑक्सीजन तो ऑक्सीजन मैक्सिमम कैरी करने के लिए उसको सरफेस एरिया ज्यादा चाहिए सरफेस एरिया ज्यादा किसका होगा या तो सर्कुलर शेप का या बायोकॉन्क्यूब शेप का सेकेंड डब्ल्यू बी सी डब्ल्यू बी सी का फंक्शन इज टू रीच दी साइट ऑफ इन्फेक्शन ये साइट ऑफ इन्फेक्शन कैसे पहुंचेंगे वेन दे विल मूव आउट ऑफ दी ब्लड वेसल्स सो देयर शेप इज अमी बॉइड वन मोर थिंग वेन डब्ल्यू बी सी इज मूव आउट ऑफ दी ब्लड वेसल्स सपोज दिस इज अ ब्लड वेसल एंड डब्ल्यू बी सी इज मूविंग आउट ऑफ दी ब्लड वेसल दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज डायपरडिस When WBCs squeeze out of their blood vessel to reach the site of infection, this is the process called diaphoresis. Fourth shape we were discussing of the guard cells. Guard cells are bean shaped or kidney shaped cells which surround the opening of stomata. Their function is to control the opening and closing of stomata. Fourth cell we discussed is neuron. Neuron ka function is to carry impulses. impulses from external environment to central nervous system or impulses to convey it inside the body so this is cell shape different shapes according to the function cell performs thank you